Alrighty then, fellas, let's get this on. This is a Blender tutorial. Um, Blender is a 3D animation game making software thing. You're able to get it for the Mac, PC, whatever. I'll give you a link to my site in the description. Otherwise, here is a tutorial on how to make a game like thing. So, we have a 3D cube here. I don't like solid. I, I usually uh, make it um, shaded. Don't know why, I just like it like that. You click this uh, purple Pac-Man, make it an actor. Dynamic makes this and it will fall and connect with another odd on all of these. How come it isn't clicking? There. One, two, three. Where it says always, you have to click that and make it a mouse or keyboard. If you want it to shoot or something, you can choose mouse or whatever, I don't care. Uh, I type in any key, since we're going to be moving, I'm going to be using that. Oops. I feel like things. Set out of the second one. Let's get these other Cheerios connected. What you'll want to focus on more is the D location and the D rotation. Rotation obviously makes it rotate. The letter over there is W. So I'll move the location up two times. Now when I click play and click W, it will move forward. Now I will I click add another one. I added another one. So again, always keyboard and then choose a different uh, letter. Add another one of these and uh, another one of these. So, connect the Cheerios. Make this smaller. So, what you have up here in the first one, it says positive tw direction. What do you think to do? You have negative point twenty. So now, S will make it go the other direction. When I click play, see backwards forwards. I will give you an example of having a dynamic thing. So, so I can click right there. Perfect. I had a plane there. So, this is going to be our platform. Make it an object. Now, the box thing there. First, our platform has to be just an actor, not dynamic, or else it will fall too. But this uh, box up here. There. The box is going to be dynamic now because we have a platform underneath so it drops now it's able to move watch this it can fall too so that's basically just how you make a moving thing but if you want to make it so it's so a camera follows it that's pretty easy too cuz oops By the way, if you're wondering how to move the camera so freely, you hold Alt or Option in case you're new at this. Because I had a problem with that earlier. On. So. Let's make it so the camera is facing sort of like that. Facing the direction of our cube. I'll put it above the cube. Above and behind. So now we can see the cube while it's moving. You always want to control click them by um, so you click on one. Oops. Click on, you click on one, then you want to click on another one, obviously. Or shift. Yeah. So you click the ones that you want to be attached to, and then the last one that you want. Okay. Bad example. Say you want to glue one item to another item. So the other item is the bigger item that you want to glue something onto. 
you click that last. Let's just say that. That'll work. Then you press uh, Apple or Control P. Or, yeah. Control P, there we go. Okay. It'll ask to make parent. You click OK. Now, I click, I go click uh, numpad zero. So now it's in camera mode. And now we have a first person view camera thing. And you're able to follow all that. So, my next tutorial will be on how to shoot something. Okay. That's pretty much it. Have a good one.